Sarah is unlucky in love. Her boyfriend saw her following him across town. She just wants the truth about where he was. He admits that he met someone new, even though they had just moved in together. He breaks up with her and says he'll collect his things later. Sarah cheers herself up by snacking and watching movies. Meanwhile, an elderly lady takes her dog for walk. She collapses and people try to help. It's the elderly lady's funeral. She was Sarah's grandmother. Sarah is running late and struggling with her dress. Sarah had missed the service and has her dress on backwards. Sarah tells her mother that she got the teaching job. Her mom is not impressed that Sarah left law school to become a teacher. Her mother compares her to her sister, who has a high-paying job, whilst being a wife and mother. Patrick chases a cat around the house. He reaches the room where the will is being read, the guests are horrified as he chews on a hat. Some guests laugh. Sarah is happy to hear that she inherited something. She is shocked when she learns that she inherited Patrick. Her grandmother thought they'd be a good match for each other. Sarah argues that they're a match made in hell. She sneaks Patrick into her apartment and throws a jacket over him when she sees her landlord. Patrick wants to go out and wake Sarah up at six in the morning. She sneaks him out to do his business. But he just sits there and does nothing. Now she needs the bathroom. Her neighbor sees her and she's very embarrassed. Then she sees that her neighbor is also breaking the rules by having a dog. The neighbor takes an interest in Patrick and says that she needs to take care of him. She can't just ship him off to someone else. Patrick lifted his leg against her boot. She steps in Patrick's food. As she is washing her foot, Patrick opens the fridge and takes out bacon. She is angry after seeing that he is eating the bacon on her bed, she is annoyed, but decides to take Patrick to the park. Patrick is mesmerized when he sees the deer. People are annoyed seeing Patrick chase after the deer. Sarah chases after him, but can't catch up. Exhausted, she gives up and goes to sit on a bench. Sarah imaginably asks her grandmother why she did this to her. What she could have done wrong to have her life turned upside down by a dog. Then she sees a man jogging towards her, with Patrick in his arms. She imagines that he's a fireman. He comes closer, just wearing normal clothes. She is grateful that he brought Patrick back to her. Sarah expresses her dislike towards Patrick and that she's stuck with him. The man, Oliver, says that they only need to get to know each other. Sarah has overslept on her first day as a teacher. Patrick needs to go out. She takes him out, where he goes through the fence into someone's property. She struggles to get him back. She starts crying, which works in getting him to come back. She leaves for work in a rush. She enters the chaotic classroom. She greets the children, but no one responds to her. The sound horn works. During break, Sarah overhears one of the other staff members telling the principal that Sarah was the only one she could get at such short notice. She introduces herself to the principal, who thinks she isn't strict enough and clearly does not like her. Meanwhile at home, Patrick walks around and tries to keep himself busy. He attacks Sarah's pink slippers. At the school, Sarah joins the rest of the staff in the faculty room. She wants to go out when the gym teacher, Becky, tells her to come with her. She also meets the home economics teacher. Becky asks Sarah to persuade her class to enter in the 5-kilometer fun run. She wants Sarah to enter too. At home, Patrick has destroyed Sarah's slippers. When he sees three dogs outside, he starts jumping and barking. This catches the landlord's attention. Sarah returns to a chaotic apartment. Sarah's neighbor comes in and says how badly behaved Patrick is. She needs to be careful so that the landlord does not know of him. Sarah asks her neighbor to take him just for tomorrow. She first says no, but agrees later. The next day, the neighbor looks after Patrick. She is mixing batter. The phone rings and she leaves the kitchen. Patrick jumps onto the table and eats the batter. He sees a cat oven mitt and goes to attack it. He knocks off the bowl of batter. The landlord is angry after he hears dogs barking. When the lady comes back, she is in shock of what Patrick did. The batter fell onto the lady's dog. When Sarah fetches Patrick, the lady says never again. Sarah is walking Patrick and passes a nice man. Their dog's leads get tangled. They stop and make small talk about their dogs. Sarah expresses her difficulties with Patrick. The man says that she should keep him. Maybe her grandmother had a reason for leaving him to her. The man introduces himself as Ben. At least one good thing comes from having Patrick. He is the reason why Sarah is so easily meeting nice guys. She starts to loosen up and allows him to sit on the couch. The next day at school, Sarah sneaks Patrick in. She asks the caretaker if he can look after Patrick. He will agree when she can pay him 60 pounds. When Sarah goes to class, she sees one of the girls in her class crying. She tries to connect with her. The girl doesn't want to talk about her problem. The learners in Sarah's class don't pay attention to their prescribed book about Jane Eyre. She puts Jane's story in more relatable terms. Then someone knocks on the door. It's the caretaker, with Patrick. 
everyone is fascinated with the pug. He wants to hand Patrick back because he ate his lunch. The caretaker wants Sarah to buy him everything that Patrick ate, including his Snickers bar. Sarah is shocked to find he ate chocolate. The girl, Vicky, who was upset earlier, tells Sarah that they need to find the nearest vet. Sarah leaves Vicky in charge of the classroom. Just as she leaves, the classroom erupts into chaos. When she tries to leave the school building, the principal spots her. He sees Patrick and is shocked that she brought a dog to school. Sarah confronts him and asks why he doesn't like her. He says that he likes a teacher who can discipline a class. Not one who just wants to be friends with the students. She argues that he doesn't know anything about her class or her teaching methods. She tells him to go to her class and see what's going on right now. He peeks through the window and sees that everyone is quiet and focusing on their work. But in reality, they are just having a contest to see who can hold their breath the longest. Sarah is surprised to see that the vet seeing Patrick is Oliver, who she met in the park. He asks about her and Patrick. Luckily, Patrick is fine. Sarah wants to pay the bill, but the receptionist says that he hasn't charged her. All she has to do is let him know how it's going with Patrick and go on a date with him. Back at school, Sarah shares her vet experience with her teacher friends. The principal makes her aware that she is the only teacher not taking part in the school's fun run. Becky lies and says that she is running on behalf of her favorite charity, the Pug Rescue. Sarah is upset. Becky apologizes. She just can't take it when the principal is like that. Now Sarah needs to train for the 5K run, so she and Becky head to the park to train. Sarah is struggling a lot. She sees Ben and tries to avoid him. But he walks by and greets her. The next day in class, Sarah explains Jane Eyre in a way that relates to her students. She emphasizes the importance of marriage in the story. Vicky gets upset and runs out. Vicky's friend says it's okay and she'll comfort her. Sarah continues with the class and Patrick is also there. Sarah returns home to find a letter. Just then, her neighbor knocks on the door and is upset that she's getting evicted because they found out about her dog, Wendy. Sarah says that she'll tell the landlord about her and Patrick so the neighbor can stay. After spending time at the park, Sarah is about to leave. She keeps running into Ben. Just then, Patrick locks the car door from inside. Ben finds a wire and unlocks the car door through the window. Sarah is getting ready for her date with Oliver, the vet, with Becky helping her. She expresses her worry of not having a new place to stay. Becky might be able to help her. Her brother needs to rent out his place while he's away, so Sarah can rent his place. Sarah is grateful. Sarah arrives at the restaurant, where she waits for Oliver for a long time. He finally arrives. Sarah asks if he's late because he was too busy saving the lives of pets. He says he lost track of time while watching Game of Thrones. He goes on talking about himself. When he asks something about her, the waiter interrupts them. When the bill arrives, he asks if they can split it. He walks her home and brags how he's naturally fit and he doesn't need to do much exercise. He asks her to go on another date for next week. She says that she's busy. He can sense that she's not willing. He asks what he's done wrong. She says that he was late and talked non-stop about himself. He can't believe that she doesn't want to see him again. Sarah feels great for standing her ground. She takes Patrick for a walk and sees a lost dog. His address is on his collar. She takes him home. He belongs to an elderly man. There she sees Ben, who regularly helps the man. Ben says that she looks nice and asks if she was out with the girls. She says no, she wishes. He asks if she had a great time and when she says no, he smiles. She helps Ben make tea. The next day, Sarah wakes up to Patrick's snoring. She has grown quite fond of Patrick, who is sleeping in her bed. Becky helps Sarah train for the 5K. They stop at a boat. Becky says that that's her brother's place she thought would be nice for her and Patrick. Sarah loves it and says it's wonderful. She drives past boys from her class, and they are up to no good. They're trying to steal a car's wheels. As punishment, they will have to sign up for the fun run. Patrick move into their new home. She cleans and decorates the boat. Ben comes over and brings Sarah a housewarming gift. They have tea or coffee. It's the English exam and Sarah calls Vicky's name, but she's absent. Sarah asks the other learners if they know where she is. One of the boys says that her parents are having problems and she's not handling it well. After school, Sarah visits Vicky's home, where her mother answers the door. Her mother says that she and Vicky's father are getting a divorce and that Vicky wants to live with her father. Sarah tells Vicky that she can write the exam on Saturday. Vicky is happy. Later that night, Oliver comes to visit with a peace offering. He has reflected on what she said last time. He wants to sponsor her for the fun run. His sponsor is quite generous. The school staff are celebrating end of term at a bar. Sarah walks Patrick and doesn't notice when he comes off his leash. He sees a cat and has to decide between chasing the cat and following Sarah. 
he decides to chase the cat but ends up jumping on a boat which moves away. Sarah notices that he's gone and calls for Patrick, who is stuck on a moving boat. Sarah gets her teacher friends together to help search for Patrick. She goes to Vicky's house, where Ben opens the door. He feels bad for not telling her that he's still married. She didn't know that he is Vicky's father. Sarah asks Vicky to help look for Patrick. Sarah's friends help her put up missing dog signs. Meanwhile, Patrick is still trapped on the boat and sad that he can't get off. Sarah visits her family, as it's her father's birthday. She cries, because she feels bad about losing Patrick. Sarah doesn't feel like doing the fun run, because she is missing Patrick. Her sister isn't surprised that she lost him. Sarah's parents try to comfort her and say that one day she will succeed. She's tired of everyone acting so patronizing around her. Patrick finally gets off the boat. Sarah is upset that no one woke her up for the fun run. She overslept. Sarah arrives at the starting point. Mr. Peters says they left 20 minutes ago. Sarah is upset that she can't get anything right. Mr. Peters isn't running because he pulled a hamstring. Sarah can't participate, but Mr. Peters says that he can be a witness to her starting. Sarah struggles in her run. Meanwhile, Patrick is trying to find Sarah. He reaches their boat, but no one is there. Meanwhile, the runners are nearing the finish line. Michael, one of the boys Sarah forced to sign up as punishment, won the race. Becky is astonished at his talent. She tells him to thank Sarah for making him sign up. Sarah rests on a bench and then forces herself to get up and run. Oliver is coincidentally also running and runs with her for a while. He asks if they're good and can be friends. Sarah finally reaches near the finish line, where everyone is cheering her on. She is exhausted and falls down. She sees Patrick. Vicky and Becky help her cross the finish line. She is happy to have found Patrick. Sarah's students are happy with their results. Sarah is proud of them. In the end, Sarah drives the boat down the river with Patrick. She and Ben are a couple and Vicky has joined them.